Okay, now to finish up section 1.5 absolute values, we're now talk about checking for strenuous solutions. Okay, strenuous solutions, briefly said something about in the beginning of uh, last section. Sometimes after you solve for x, those solutions are not going to be true, and those are the strenuous solutions. Solutions you may solve for, but do not make the statement true. If you take that x and plug it back into the equation, it will give you a false statement. That does happen sometimes with absolute values. So you're going to have to be careful. I'm going to ask that you do check for those. So if we're looking at the equation, absolute value 2x minus 3 equals 4x minus 1, your first step is to solve it like normal. Okay, so your first step, take this equation, set it up. 2x minus 3 equals 4x minus 1. Just a quick review of how to solve. We have our one base equation. 2x minus 3 equals negative 4x plus 1. Making it the opposite and going through and solving this. Right? Bringing the 4 over gives us negative 2x. Bringing the 3 over gives us 2. And we get x equals negative 1. Solving the other side. Bringing that 4x over. Adding it, so we're going to get 6x. Bringing it 3 over gives us a 4. So we're going to end up with 2 over 3, or 0.667. I sort of suggest using the fraction, the 2 over 3. We're not going to be using exact, that will give us exact values instead of the rounding value of 0.667. Using the exact value always gives you a better solution. Now, check for certain solutions. What we need to do is go back to our equation and plug these values in. Okay, if they're both true, then we can use them both. But one might not give us, or maybe neither gives us, an actual solution or a true statement. So we have to plug back in and see. So I'll do my work over here. I'm going to take the negative 1 and plug it in. Absolute value, 2 times negative 1 minus 3 equals 4, negative 1 minus 1. Okay? And we're just solving both of those. Watch the absolute value. Do the work inside and then see, make it the positive answer to show the distance. Okay? So you should get, looking at this, we have 2 times negative 1 minus 3 should give us negative 5. Over here, negative 4 minus 1 should give us negative 5. Absolute value negative 5 is positive. Okay? This is not a true statement. Okay? 5 does not equal negative 5. Okay, so this is not true, which means that x equals negative 1, that's an strenuous solution. Okay, I'm just going to abbreviate strenuous solution there, EXT solution. Okay, and now let's check the other one. Let's check the two-thirds. So again, going through the work, take your time, deal with fractions, I know. We'll have to deal with them every once in a while, so take your time working through that. You should get absolute value of 5 over 3, negative 5 over 3, equals positive 5 over 3. Absolute value negative 5 over 3 is 5 over 3, 5 over 3, this one works. So x equals 2 thirds, that's a true solution that we're not going to use. So plugging back in and seeing if the solution is true, does it actually make a true statement? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to show one more example. Okay. So again, this is good practice for solving the absolute values and then doing a little more work to check for the strenuous solutions. So starting off, I'm going to find the basic answers. Okay, going through our work, subtracting our 5, subtracting our 5x, subtracting our 5 gives us negative 3, x equals 3 over 2 for our one solution. Bringing the 5 over gives us 8x. Subtracting the 5 gives us negative 7. We're at negative 7 over 8 for this one. So there's our two solutions. Fractions, I know we will have to deal with them. Okay. So going through the work now, let's plug these back in. 
doing my two thirds first, or sorry, my three halves first. Okay, so what we end up doing, getting all that work, we should get absolute value of 19 over two equals 19 over two. This one works, 19 over two equals 19 over two, that's a true statement. So x equals three over two, that one works, okay? We're good with that one. Going back to the negative seven over eight. Okay, we have it set up and the absolute value you should get, absolute value of 19 over eight equals negative 19 over eight. So right there, we should know this isn't going to work out. Absolute value 19 over eight, negative 19 over eight. This is not true. So that means negative seven over eight, strenuous solution. Okay, so make sure you're checking for a strenuous solutions. Okay, it's a good idea to always check for that, quickly plugging back in, seeing if it's true or not. Okay, sometimes it doesn't work out. Okay, so that's the end of 1.5.